All right, guys, today we are checking out what could be the craziest, biggest, nastiest ruts you've ever seen in any game. It is crazy. We have indoor track, outdoor track, and the terrain deformation, the road is unbelievable. It really is. It might be too good if that is a thing. Uh, but before we get to that, this is Straight Rhythm, and some of you maybe have seen this, but uh, I haven't played the game very much. I have about four hours in the game since I bought it, and I didn't know Straight Rhythm was in here. Uh, so basically, I opened the game up one day. I was kind of bored, decided to play, um, and saw we had Straight Rhythm here, so I wanted to show this to you if you haven't seen it. It is pretty sweet. It's actually more difficult than I thought it would be. The bike kind of pulls to one side a bit, and it's just a, a bit difficult to keep it on the track. I know we don't have a great run here. We have two different runs to show you. Uh, both of them are about the same. But it was tougher. It was it was definitely more difficult than it appears to be. So uh, straight rhythm was pretty sweet, but the main part about the video is coming up here in a second. And that's the ruts. I decided to play Michigan. And I know you guys were saying that Michigan and the second track, the two tracks we got in the last major update were Loretta Lynn's and Redbud. And it kind of felt like the Michigan track was Redbud, but I don't know. It didn't dawn on me until you guys said it. But yeah, for sure, Redbud, we have the leap at the end. Well, I decided to run laps on Redbud because the first time I tried recording it my audio was corrupted and that's the reason you saw the major update video the way it was because it just it was weird but it's fine this time and I ran a bunch of laps there I was on that track forever and the terrain deformation was crazy it was absolutely unbelievable and then I tested it on a few other tracks and it's kind of that way throughout the whole game so here we switch over to Redbud doing a massive wheelie. This game, don't sleep on this game, for real. This game is way better than I've seen some people say. And it's as good as other people have said. This game is pretty good. It's not there yet in my opinion. I feel like the in-air physics are still a bit weird. Uh, I think Durek might be you. Uh, he plays the game a bunch, has a bunch of good stuff to say about it. And I agree with you, but in my opinion, the, the in-air physics are still a bit off. Uh, they're not bad, but in my opinion, they just feel a bit weird. But that, I mean, they're definitely making big time progress in the motocross dirt bike side of the game, which is great. The company cares. It shows they want to, to have a real dirt bike side to the game. So that's great. But you're going to see a full run here at Redbud. I didn't show you it before. You've probably seen it, but... Uh, a first full run for the track. It's already pretty rough, but it doesn't have the terrain deformation, the road on it yet. And you'll see that. We test it out on LaRocco's Leap. It's crazy. It, it is crazy. It took a while. The road in the game feels like it's worse or more crazy in super on the Supercross track than it is outdoors. But that might just be me. I'm not sure. Uh, on the Supercross track, the ruts formed very, 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 very quickly, and it pretty much destroyed the track. On this track, outdoors, I didn't test it on any other track. It was more doable. So you can see there's some ruts, some lines you can take pre-made. This is my first lap on the track. You can see there's lines you can take that are already made in that corner before the leap. But you'll see, we carve a different line in that corner, and then a bunch of different lines up the face of the jump. You're going to see that here in a second. So, we dive to the inside here. We've been on the track about 30 minutes. Look at this rut. Look at that rut. Look at these ruts. They're crazy. These ruts will swallow you whole. They are huge. Now, you can still jump off of them. But it definitely changes the jump. These ruts are crazy. Trying to get into the rut for even the corner is tough. And then riding up the face of it, the way it erodes the bike, it's plenty wide compared to the bike. So you can still get into the rut, you know what I mean? And then we kind of walk around here just to show you 
it is crazy. This rut, this far left rut is so tall. It's as tall as we are. And it's so tall we can't even walk up it. It is crazy. Look at that. It is so good. The terrain deformation in this game is awesome. It might be a bit much. Maybe they need to tone it down just a tiny bit. But outdoors, I really like it. I feel like it's good. Now indoors here on this track, it is a bit crazy. Again, I didn't, this is just the first lap on the Supercross track and the track is fine, but the track starts to go away pretty quickly, especially on the finish line jump. So we run a lap here just because I wanted to show you the track. The middle part of the track, I felt like, excuse me, I felt like didn't erode as much as the beginning part or the back section here after this corner this rhythm lane deteriorates really really fast um you get a pretty good line here and then in this corner it develops a good rut and then coming back across the track this is where it gets like too much okay too much it needs to be toned down it's just a bit crazy, but we have another lap. I want to show you where the track is just starting to go away. I don't know what lap we would have been on here in a second. It probably was a lap three, four. I don't know. Um, it, it doesn't really say, but yeah, you can see the track is starting to get a bit chewed up. It's still good. You can see some ruts forming in the corner and all that stuff, but it isn't crazy yet. I would say after, I mean, I was on... Um, Redbud for almost 30 minutes just hitting the leap and the ruts got like that this track it was much quicker for me for me it, it, it didn't feel like I was on this track quite as long I also don't know where an end is you know is there an end to the terrain deformation is there a point where it's so bad it can't get worse or is there a point where you dig through the map you know um, I never really found that point but you can see some ruts starting to form here. Um, a good rut on the right side of that finish line jump. Still feels pretty good. You know, it doesn't feel like it's out of control. It feels pretty good. But again, probably only three laps, maybe four. I don't, probably three. We'll say three to be safe, but still feels pretty good. Well, look at that bad boy. I can't believe we kind of could jump off of it because we hit the side of the rut. So it gave us a bit more lift, but you can kind of jump off of it, but that rut, that jump is gone. It is gone. You're, we ate through the entire face of the finish line jump. Again, this rut will swallow you whole. It really will. And then the track got a bit weird. You hit some spots where when you hit the jump, it wouldn't, it wouldn't throw you forward. It was more straight up and down. I don't know what that is, but even hitting the triple in the next rhythm section um, is getting eroded enough that it's getting hard to get over that jump but that finish line jump is like out of control it is out of control that is too much uh, this is too much okay that is great it's awesome it's cool for a video i had fun doing it and showing it to you guys but like if you could race other people that jump would be gone in like two laps right if you had a 10 12 player lobby you know that jump it would be gone but again, um, I rode that finish line jump over and over again, and that's why we got it the way we did. But the rest of the track was just kind of regular deformation. Um, again, if we rode it as much as we did the finish line jump, maybe it'd be worse. But the rest of the track, it didn't feel like it ever got as bad as that finish line. So I don't know how that works. I don't, I don't really know. I don't make video games, but um, this is crazy. This is crazy. It's awesome, but maybe could be toned down a little bit from from what it is so uh let me know in the comments what you guys think again don't sleep on this game this game is pretty good i would recommend going and picking it up it has street bike stuff in it if you care about that if you don't even just for the dirt bike stuff the game is um i don't know how much the game is i think i picked it up on sale but they're putting the work and effort into the game it's getting better and I really enjoy it. The first person is awesome. And I do have to apologize. I said it was a single stick game. It isn't. It is dual stick. And I don't know why I said it was single stick. But for sure not. Two sticks to control the 
the movement and I found a way to bind the sit down button finally. I didn't have that in the last video we did, but I have it here and it makes it way, way better. So just taking a look at the rut again on the bike, that rut is higher than our head. It is. If we sit down in the bottom, it would be right here. It's about the same, but crazy. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. You guys, girls, are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.